Hi all, this is Jean P. Joni from Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. Today I am dealing with some topics in module 4 of subject programming in C for S2 students of KTU. In the section we are dealing with the topics Union, Storage Classes, Scope, Visibility and Lifetime of Variables. First of all, we will see what do you mean by a union. It's a defined data type. It is very much similar to that of a structure. Like structure, we, we can have a number of variables inside it, which will be of different, different data types. So, the actual difference between a union and structure is in the case of its memory. In structure, we can have different different memory location for all of its members but in the case of union it can have only one memory location for the whole union so the compiler allocates the space that can hold the larger variable type in the union now we'll see how we are defining a union the union is defined using a keyword union followed by the name of that union. Like structures, we can give each of the members with its data types and at last you have to stop or terminate the union with a semicolon. Now we'll see one example. Here we are going to define a union named test with variables x and y. Both x and y are integer type and in a main function like structure we are defining a variable for that union. It is done using the union keyword followed by the name of the union then followed by the union variable. Then at first we are giving a value to to the variable x and after that while printing x and y will get the same value for both x and y and after that we will make we are making the value of y as 10 and after that we are again printing both x and y that will be like this First, we have made the value of x as 2 and we are getting that value for both x and y. After that, we are making value of y as 10 and that value is being taken for both x and y. Now, we will see one more example. Here, I have declared one more union named job with two different uh, variables salary and worker number here uh, the salary is a floating point number and worker number is an integer type and inside the main function I am giving a value 12.3 to the variable salary and after that I am assigning 100 to the variable worker number while printing salary and worker number I am getting the result. The salary has got the value 0 and the number of workers is returning the value 100. Actually what is happening is that our union has got only one memory location. First I have assigned 12.3 to that location inside the variable salary. And while I am assigning a value 100 to the worker number it is actually overwriting about the previous value and while we ask for returning that value we are getting only the latest updated value so that is shown in this output now we will see the major differences between the structure and union First of all, the keyword used in structure is struct and the keyword used to define a union is the union itself. And based on the size when a variable is associated with a structure, 
the compiler allocates the memory for each member. Then, then the size of the structure is greater than or equal to the sum of sizes of all its members. But in the case of union, when a variable is associated with every union, the compiler allocates the memory by considering the size of its largest memory. That means the total size will be equal to the largest member size. Then, when we compare about the memory inside a structure, each member within a structure is assigned with a unique storage area. But in, in a union, memory allocated is shared by each of its members. Based on the value altering, in structure, altering the value of a member will not affect any of the other members. But in the case of union, it will definitely affect all other members. And in the case of accessing its members, in structure, individual member can be accessed at a time. That means any member can be accessed, but in the case of union, only one member can be accessed at a time. Then, in structure, several members of a structure can be initialized at once, but it cannot be done in the case of union. Only first member of a union can be initialized. Now we'll see what do you mean by scope visibility and lifetime of variables which are used in our program. Of a variable determines over what region of the program the variable is actually active. That means the area in which the variable can be accessed. Some variables are global and can be accessed anywhere in the program. On the other hand, some variables are local and it can be accessed for a particular function or a block. Then comes the lifetime. Lifetime refers to the period during which the variable retains a given value during the ex execution of that program. That means we can also say that lifetime of a variable is the time gap between its declaration and cleanup. Then comes the visibility. Visibility refers to the accessibility of a variable from the memory. Based on the scope, lifetime and visibility, we have defined some storage classes. When we talk about our storage class, you have to know about the variables which we are using in our program. Every variable in our program has two properties, the type and storage class. The type refers to its data type and storage class tells the compiler about the storage area of a variable, the initial value of a variable and scope and lifetime of a variable. Okay, based on these, the storage class has got four types. First one is automatic, then external, static and register. First of all, we will see the storage class automatic. The keyword auto is used for declaration of automatic variable. And by default, every variable pertains to an automatic variable storage class. The auto variables are defined inside a function. A variable declared inside the function without storage class name is by default an auto variable. The scope of the variable is local to the block in which they are defined. These variables are available only to the current block or program. Once the execution of the function takes place and returns Turn off the function, the contents and existence of auto variable or local variables will vanish. So, whenever a function is executed, all the auto variables are allocated memory and delocated when the execution of function ends. Look at this example. In this example, I have defined 
one loop with a variable i and it is declared only inside this loop and outside the loop I am trying to print the value of i since the i is not alive in outside the block this will return an error message because the i is only accessible and only active for that particular for loop for that reason the output will be an error message the next one is register storage class the keyword used to define a register variable is register itself and we can keep some variables in CPU registers instead of memory for that we are using the register storage class okay then the keyword register tells the compiler that the variable list followed by the register keyword should key in CPU registers because register access is more faster than the memory access. The problem is CPU registers are limited in number. Once the limit is reached, the compiler automatically converts them into non-register variables. Okay, then the default initial value will be a garbage value. Then the scope of this register variable is it is local to the block in which the variable is defined and the lifetime is the control remains within the block in which the variable is defined as active it will remain alive. Okay, then we are defining a register variable as with register then data type then the variable name. Here is one example. Here have declared the variable m as a register variable. The rest is same as that of memory variable. The only difference is you have to use the keyword register in front of that variable to make it a register variable. And I am using that variable uh, to print the variable's value. Uh, the output will be as follows. As the name suggests, the value of static variables persists until the end of the program. A variable can be declared using the keyword static. And the static variable may be either an internal type or an external type. It is based on the place of the declaration. First, we will see what you mean by internal static variable. Internal static variables are those which are declared inside a function and the scope of that variable extends up to the end of that function in which they are defined. That means it will be alive that well it will be active in particular value until that function exists and in the case of external static variable it is a static variable which is declared outside of all the functions and that variable will retain its value as same throughout the execution of that program. In this example you can see that here a static variable A and static variable C are declared. The static variable A is an external static variable because it is declared outside of all the functions and also it is also accessible to all the functions main function as well as display function and inside the display function have declared one static variable c the c is not accessible from the main function it is only accessible to the display function its persistence that is it remains constant for only the function display. That's the difference between internal and external static variable. The fourth storage class is external. The keyword to define a external variable is external 
and the variables that are alive and active throughout the entire program arc are called external variables. So it is known as global variables. So the scope is global and the lifetime uh, it will persist as long as the program execution doesn't came to an end. That means it will be active from the start till the stop of the program execution. Once the program a variable has been declared as global, any function can use it and change its value. Then subsequent functions can refer reference only that new value. That means the here I have declared a variable n as an external variable, and in the main function I am incrementing it by one. And again, in a calling a function display. In that function, I'm again incrementing it by 1. So, I'll get the result as Now, these are the references and thank you.